what's going on guys PC guides here today we're going to cover part two of our uh, bash scripting tutorials and we're going to cover arguments and how we can use different arguments to do different things with scripts so go ahead and get your VM up and running and let's go to a terminal as soon as that comes up we'll be ready to roll alright so let's just make a quick script here to, to, to show you how you can use arguments and how they go and I will tell you different arguments and the functions of those arguments so let's do vim args dot bash there we get that so let's go ahead and put in our shebang line and what do a row of comments here we'll do another one author and we'll do the date and the purpose. Spelled that wrong. There we go. And the author is me. And the date is the 8th. So it's January 8th, 2015. purpose is to demo arguments and we'll just do another row here of that first we need to cover what arguments are so if I type out dollar zero if I hit the right button dollar zero this means the name of the script so if I do echo dollar zero and we'll just show you right here. So echo minus e double quote, and then do dollar zero. Close my double quotes. Shift colon right and quit, and we got a shamod it. Let's shamod 700 on args dot bash, and if we execute it, <coughs> we get that which shouldn't happen. Let's see why. Right there. There we go. <clears throat> Problem was is that it didn't do a forward slash right there. Right here, Ben. Forward slash bash. I didn't do a forward slash with that. That was the problem. <clears throat> so if we run it, we get args dot bash, and that's that's all well and good right there. So what we're supposed to get. So now we need to go on and cover what different things are. So if I do dollar one, let's go back into my script here, and blank line, dollar one will be like command line arguments of the script. So dollar one is the first thing passed in, dollar two is the second thing, three is the third, and so on and so forth until you get to dollar nine. So if I do echo minus e shift colon dollar one. Close your double quote, shift colon, right and quit. I run the script again and I don't pass anything in, I get a blank line there. Let's say I pass in a, the number or the, the word dog. Then I get dollar one is dog. If I pass in cat, you won't see that there because that is dollar two. It's the second thing passed in with the space. I can conjoin these together with quotes, double quotes. And it's passed in as one argument in case you wanted to use you know spaces within your arguments you can encase those in double quotes and so that's how that works and let's go on let's see number of arguments so let's go back to our script and we'll do echo minus e double quote dollar pound this will tell us the number of arguments that we are using so I can do a shift colon right and quit run the script with cat and dog and we are using two. That tells us that we are using two arguments, which is what we wanted to know. So we're using two arguments. If I do, oh, I don't know, cow, chicken. I'm now using four arguments, and so on and so forth, until you get to just whatever number. I could probably do a whole bunch here. So 
I'm using 10 arguments at this point, and you know, it just keeps going. So that, that will work to show you how many arguments you are using. And there's another thing we can do. We can do echo I for insert, echo minus E, uh, double quote. And we'll do dollar. If we, dollar, if we do the dollar at symbol there, that will tell us all of the arguments. It'll tell us you know exactly what they are. So if we do a shift colon here, escape shift colon right quip, we run this same one right here. The this one, we get there ten there. If there's our dollar one is right here. Dog. We have ten total arguments, and here it lists the arguments of what they really are. Now we can do a few more things here with arguments. Let's see, we can show you the PID for the script in case you need to know what the PID was for certain reasons. There's reasons you may need to know the PID for a script, so we can show you that. And it is dollar, dollar. And we'll do that shift colon, escape shift colon, right quit, and then run it. And our PID is 3405. You may need to know that for certain reasons in different scripts. Um, I've never used that one actually, so I couldn't tell you what it is or why we use it. <clears throat> I know what a PID is, but I can't. I couldn't tell you why we actually use that because I've never had to use it. So that that's going to be it for arguments. Um, that's going to cover that. Our next our next one is going to jump into read. We're going to learn how to do the read command for in scripting. So just stay tuned, and we will uh, jump on that. And here shortly, I'll do a I'll do a script of just you know putting everything together. Oh, this may seem a little difficult with just different pieces here and there, but you know, here pretty soon I'm going to do a script that will put all these things we just used together: arguments, read, echo. We'll throw them all together, um, and we'll we'll make a nice script. So thank you guys, and if you like what you've seen, go ahead and click subscribe. Have a good one. What's going on, guys?